Hey everybody, today I'm going to be performing the chemical cut experiment and then the miraculous healing of that chemical cut. So before I do this experiment, let me explain that what you're going to see is not real. I am not actually cutting myself, but I am performing a chemical reaction here. So let me do it first and then I'll explain how it's happening and what I did. Okay everyone, I've come across a magic water that can mysteriously heal any wound that you come upon. Let's try it out. Here we go. Let's go for the cut. Ah. Ah. Okay, hopefully this works because this is really hurting. Please work. Whoa. It worked. Look at that. It's gone. There's not even any blood. Now let's try it with a fork. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Ugh. Okay, ow, here we go. Hopefully this works. Whoa. Whoa, it's completely gone. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> now let's just try it with my finger. So obviously something's going on here. Let's just look at it on a paper towel. All right, so how did I do this? Well, the first thing I did is get three cups of water. And then in one of them, I put some ferric chloride. And then in the next one, I put some sodium fluoride. And then in the last one, I put some potassium thiocyanate. So the ferric chloride already has a slight orangish color, but nothing like what you're going to see after this. <laughs> Look at that. So it immediately makes this dark red color that looks pretty close to exactly like blood. But then you just take some of this sodium fluoride, mix it in there, and it's gone. So what's happening here is the potassium thiocyanate reacts with the ferric chloride to make this dark red iron thiocyanate. And then when you put the sodium fluoride in the solution, then that fluoride ion really wants to react with that iron more than the thiocyanate ion. And so it reacts and there's no longer iron thiocyanate, so that dark red color disappears. And I should mention, don't try this one at home. Although these chemicals are relatively safe, they can be toxic if they're ingested or inhaled or if you get too much on your skin. So don't try this one by yourself. And also, if you need a good scientific present for the upcoming holiday season, check out theactionlab.com. I have two different experiment boxes there for sale and you can get them now. And thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And also hit the bell to be notified when I release my latest video. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.